This is Brandon with Fleet Feet, and today I'm going to be giving you my full review of the Ultra Experience Flow. This is Ultra's neutral daily trainer. It is basically the Ford Experience 2, which was their first introduction to non-zero drop shoes. They had a four millimeter drop shoe and it like basically broke the internet. It broke the world. For many who already know this, for those dedicated Ultra lovers out there or those who don't know this, Ultra basically started as like a zero drop shoe company, especially for trail runners. And so that was what most of their market and consumer base is built off of. And now what they've done is transition from trail and they started to dabble in road a little bit more. Then they started making really aggressive rocker shapes, which kind of was their way around. It, it was still technically a zero drop shoe, but it was their way around this idea of, oh, we're no longer playing in the zero drop game. They're starting to kind of make shoes with drop now. And then they came out with the Ford Experience, which was their first introduction to having a shoe with drop and the internet broke. Ultra fans alike were going crazy. If you want a zero drop shoe, you can still get one from Ultra, but now Ultra is just giving more options to more people. If you're not someone who really likes a zero drop shoe, but now you want to play in the Ultra game, you have a few options. And I think that is a great thing for Ultra and for runners alike to have more accessibility for the type of shoes that they can run it. Unfortunately, the rest of the Fleet Feet team hasn't gotten the opportunity to test this shoe out, but you will be hearing some of my thoughts and some of my opinions about the shoe, as well as some things that Altra has to say about it. So let's dive in. Starting with the upper, I first got this shoe and I thought to myself, oh, this is a really wide shoe and I have a really narrow foot. So this is totally not gonna work for me. That was the first thing I thought. Then I put the shoe on and I was like, Okay, so I was wrong. This shoe actually fits really well on foot, and that's actually because last year, Ultra started to change the way that they do their uppers, and they have a slim, a standard, and a wide version now for a lot of their shoes. So no matter what your foot volume or foot type is, or length, or width, whatever you wanna consider it, you're going to have an Ultra shoe that is going to accommodate and fit toward your needs. The upper of the shoe was great from a lockdown fit perspective, especially in the midfoot and in the heel. I felt like there were no issues there. I was able to cinch up the shoe really well. If you do have a bit of a wider foot, I do think that this shoe will work for you. If you have a narrow foot, I think it also works for you. Like I said earlier, Ultra has really been accommodating toward all different types of foot shapes. The tongue is not gusseted here, but again, like I said, I didn't really have any lockdown issues. I like the overlays and look and feel of this shoe. It kind of gives me some trail vibes for sure. You've got this like grayish green upper with this orange. You get this like earth tony feel to it, which I still think plays into a lot of what, what Ultra is. They're very trail focused company. Company, and so now you've got these earthy tones in here. I kind of like it, I'm a fan of it. One area of the shoe that is a little bit long and a little bit big is around the toe box. So the shoe does run a bit long and there is a ton of room in the toe box. So overall, I had a ton of space there, but in the midfoot and in the heel, like I said, great lockdown. The upper is also pretty breathable. I had no issues there. The tongue is quite comfortable. The overlays added a little bit more reinforcement and protection over the midfoot and wrapping and structure around the heel. So personally for me, I had no issues here. The heel collar was also quite comfortable and it's also pretty padded on the inside here. I don't know if you can really tell. Maybe I'll add a little bit of a photo to see, but it is quite padded in the heel collar for just that little bit of extra comfort and support. And I had no issues with heel slip. It locked in great. Now moving down to the midsole, it is a little bit on the firmer side, but here's what I will say about that. This was my second run of the day today. I know, I don't know why I ran two times today. I was really excited about running in this shoe. I did a few more miles in this shoe and I will say even though my feet were a little bit beat up, I did enjoy a little bit of the structure of a firmer midsole and coupled with this very aggressive rocker shape in here, I really felt like I was picking up my pace and moving very fast through my stride. You naturally move quite fast in this shoe because of the rocker shape in the midsole. That was the thing that I was most surprised about. I didn't actually expect to run much faster in this shoe than I realized. I thought, oh, okay, this is gonna be pretty plush. This is gonna be relaxed underfoot. I'm not gonna really have any issues with it. I'm gonna go on a slow run just for fun. And naturally I found myself picking up the pace and moving a lot faster. And I think that's due to the snappier and a little bit firmer midsole paired with that rocker shape. Moving down to the bottom of the shoe, you can tell that there is a very wide base here and a full length rubber coverage. I actually really enjoyed a wider 
spare base in this shoe. It definitely provided a lot more stability than I was used to in a lot of the shoes that I run in, so I really appreciated that. The rubber is also quite thick, so I predict you're gonna be able to get anywhere between 300 to 400 miles in the shoe, especially as a neutral daily trainer. The stack of this shoe is 32 millimeters in the heel and 28 millimeters in the toe, which is a four millimeter drop. Yes, Altra has decided to keep with the four millimeter drop that they had previously in the forward experience. I enjoyed a little bit of a higher stack at 32 millimeters. I found that the cushioning of this shoe was still quite firm, but the ride itself was quite balanced. My size eight and a half came in at 8.25 ounces or 234 grams. While it isn't the heaviest shoe in the world, it's also not the lightest shoe in the world. I think it falls right in there with a lot of other neutral daily trainers, especially for how much stack is here. There are certainly opportunities for Altra to lighten this shoe up just a little bit more. I think in the upper, they can make it a little bit more breathable and a little bit more airy. But overall, while I was going through my stride and when I was running, I didn't feel like this was a very heavy shoe. If you're someone who loves Altra, but you still want a zero drop shoe, there are tons of options. You'd like the Mont Blanc, the Vanish Carbon, the Olympus, or the Lone Peak, or the Timp 5. There's still so many options out there. So even if this shoe doesn't work for you with a four millimeter drop, there's a ton of zero drop options from Altra that are coming out. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised with how much I liked this shoe. I thought it was gonna run wide. It didn't. It definitely locked in around my narrow foot really, really well. I usually enjoy a more cushion feel. This had a more firm feel, but it had that rocker shape to it, which I think went through my stride really nicely. And that was one of the things that was able to make me run a lot faster through my stride. This is a good pick, especially around $140. I think you can't go wrong here. So for an ultra loyalist or someone who's new to ultra and wants to try out a daily trainer, I think this will be a great pick for you. If you want to learn more about ultra running shoes or the ultra experience flow in particular, you can go to fleetfeet.com and you can go to the blog and read the full review from a lot of our other reviewers. But for now, if you like this review, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below and let us know your thoughts about the ultra experience flow or any other shoes that I should be reviewing. I personally love the direction that ultra has been going in. I think that it's moving in the right direction. And of course, make sure to follow us on Instagram, on Strava, on TikTok, on Facebook, and all the other social platforms that we've got.